Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? This is Sunday, July 3rd, the day before, um, <laughs> what is that holiday coming? The day before 4th of July, I'm on my way, I'm on my way to church and I don't have my lipstick on right now because I'm trying to drink my coffee in the coldest water bottle although this is not iced coffee this is hot coffee but i just wanted to put it in here because it keeps the coffee nice and you know keeps the coffee nice and hot so that's why i have it in here but i hope you guys are having a great day um yeah i'm on my way to church in a hat <laughs> um this is just how i feel today i feel like just putting the hair back and putting it in a nice cute ponytail i have some um some gray pants on just regular pants nothing fancy and believe it or not i have my tennis shoes on i just feel casual and just kind of laid back because you know at our church i mean there's no um if i pause you guys it's because i'm fo focusing on the road somebody's turning too close or something like that like this person here just jumped right in front of me so i gotta pause so that's why i'm pausing <laughs> in case you want to know why should you keep pausing that's why but um there's no special way that you know at least our church we have to dress we dress however you want to you know the bible says come as you are so um a lot of times i do dress up and i don't normally wear this type of hat unless i'm in one of those moods where i just feel like just being casual just feel like being me so that's what i'm doing i'm just being me um i gotta put some lipstick on i hate um coming on camera but i don't like to have lipstick on and drink coffee but you know i could i could put some on for you guys so nobody would have to think oh she looks so plain Plain Liz. Anybody going to church? Anybody celebrating 4th of July with fireworks? You know they're illegal. At least they are here in California. Illegal fireworks, I should say. But, um, I don't know what we're doing. Nothing planned. Um, with gas prices so high, mm -mm, we're trying to conserve. <laughs> You know that's where we're at we're in the conserving mode okay so then gas uh taxes tax has gone up i don't know if it is all over the place but it is here where we are in california so i'm not happy about that mm. what can we do can't do anything about it but just to that slow down liz embrace it Go with the flow. Trust God that every need is met. And the money is there to have a full tank of gas whenever you need to go. That's what I say. That's what I believe. So I just have to just stick with that. Um, I wanted to tell you guys, I know Father's Day is over. We took Sam to a restaurant called Chili's. Um, I don't know if that's his number one favorite, but he likes chilies, and we haven't been there in such a long time. I mean, it's been probably two or three years, maybe longer. We're always going to other restaurants. So I told Aaron, I said, uh, he said, let's take Dad to a restaurant. Let's go to his favorite, Claim. I said, we've been to Claim so many times. Claim Jumper. And uh, I didn't want to go there because, you know, I said, oh, I wanted to save him some money because he wanted to pay for it out of the money that he had. So I wanted to save him some money. I said, and uh, oh my gosh, it was not a very good experience sitting in that booth. Guys, I don't know if I should take the freeway or not. I think I will. Anywho, um, it was so cold in that place. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm not exaggerating. 
I don't know if they had the um, temperature down to the 50s, but it literally, or the 40s, it felt like it was that cold. I mean, me and my husband, we have the uh, menu in our hand. We couldn't even concentrate on looking what we wanted. You know, we're sitting there, we're like, uh, shivering. <laughs> and Aaron was like, don't you guys know what you want yet? And I'm like, no, because my brain is is frozen. I mean, it was, so, it was kind of funny. It was funny to him. I can laugh at it now, but it was not funny. I'm a little serious. It was so, so cold. It was freezing. I was irritated. That's why I said, you know what? I'm going to call. And Aaron's like, oh, mom, please don't embarrass me. And I'm like, how could you be embarrassed? What's so embarrassing about speaking up? I don't have a problem speaking up. And I try to teach him, you speak up. You don't have to be mean. He's, Are you going to say it nice? Well, no, I'm going to say it real mean. I'm going to just yell at the man and shout, turn off the radio. <laughs> I'm not going to be like that. So I called because I was going to ask the manager to come to the table. But that's when he, he said, oh, gosh. I said, well, I'll call. So I called and I said, the guy answered. I said, um, well, somebody answered. I said, may I speak with the manager, please? Store manager or someone. So he came to the phone. And I said, excuse me, sir, um, I'm in the restaurant here. I'd like to ask you if you could please turn up the air. It is freezing in this place. I said, it's so cold that we are shaking. We can't even order our, our food, you know, something to that nature. And he was asking me about where about are we sitting? He said, well, he asked me first. He said, are you in the rest? You're in the restaurant, right? And like, that was kind of a dumb question. I just said it freezing in here and I said yes I'm seated already and it's just too cold and he asked me what section because I guess they have and he told me they have like three different air conditioning units in, in three different sections and I said oh gosh I'm looking around like this like I don't know I'm facing I mean we're over on the side by the uh, parking lot but there's also a parking lot on the other side too so I didn't know <laughs> I couldn't give him exactly where we were just kind of like tell him what I see outside so that gave him an idea well, anyway he was able to turn it up some oh I'm telling you when that happened at first I thanked him so much and we hung up and <laughs> I tell you it was just uncomfortable we felt so much better than we were able to order the brain stopped being frozen it started to def defrost and then we were able to make a wise decision. I mean, <laughs> Patty LaBelle is going to be out here in my area. I am so, so excited. She is coming to our town, but she's coming to my area on July the 9th, which is Saturday. So I am like, yay, so excited. Good morning, everybody. Happy 4th of July. I just want to show you what I'm having for breakfast. I'm having a cup of coffee, and that's always, that's every day, and that is so good. And of course, I'm using hazelnut creamer and U-Ban. And then I, in this bowl, I have some oatmeal, a little bit of raisins, and some pistachios. I have, I uh, don't have sugar in here. I poured a little bit of my creamer from there into my um bowl here and i didn't want to put any butter in it so there's no butter just almond butter which is very healthy let me show you what that looks like in case you guys are wondering this is the maranatha brand almond butter it says california almond butter natural creamy and i think they have some that's not creamy i'm not sure but this is good and it's healthy for you so it kind of reminds you of peanut butter if you don't know what this is what this tastes like it has almonds in it of course but it's very good and it says no sugar or salt added so that's what I like to put in my oatmeal to kind of sweeten it up so I don't have to use any sugar so I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this <laughs> I'll see you later yeah 
I'm not feeling that well. I'm not feeling my best and I probably look it, but um, I just wanted to um, say hello. Um, I don't know what's going on with my body, but I do not believe that it's COVID and I'm not going to, I don't think it's necessary for me to take a test. Um, my blood pressure has been up um, and I probably shouldn't be drinking any coffee right now, especially when it's up. And I know somebody in the comment section was is going to agree with me. <laughs> um, I sometimes get these weird, weird feelings and I can't really describe it except for um, uh, what am I trying to say? See, I can't even think straight. Um, it's like these weird feelings come over me where I get extremely, extremely weak. My eyes get really weak and they get really, really low. And um, it's it's like when the feeling comes over me, I can't have nobody stand next to me. I can't talk. Um, if I'm talking, I have to really focus. Like yesterday, I was on the phone with the doctor's office and that feeling came over me. Um, and I just had to just grit my teeth. Um... <clears throat> it's I don't know it's just like extreme weakness and I'm going to have to uh, bring it up to the doctor uh, when I have my appointment um, I shouldn't have did this but I postponed my appointment to I think August or September because I'm trying to lose weight and I don't want my it's a nurse practitioner she's not a doctor but I don't want her to be saying anything about you haven't lost weight or you gained some weight since the last time I saw you. I don't want that. I don't want to hear that. So I'm trying to work on losing some, at least get below where, where I was um, when I saw her last. Because uh, I, I'm i not saying she would judge me or say anything. But, you know, sometimes doctors, uh, they will do that. And, you know, they're trying to help you the best they can. And I know I should be losing and I just have not been controlling myself. So I know I don't need this coffee and I probably shouldn't drink it, but I want the coffee. <laughs> it's soothing when it goes down. I have an apple sitting over here, but I don't know if I want to eat it right now. Um, I have been eating, but um, not eating as much as I used to you know i only eat pretty much when i'm hungry and that's the way it really should be anyway you know you're not supposed to eat when you're not hungry but a lot of us do it and then in a little while i'm going to lay down on the couch and relax so i'll see you guys later hope you're having a good day hey guys this is july the 9th this is the concert yay we are going to Patti LaBelle's concert. I am so, so excited. I have, uh, I'm doing a voiceover because of the music played in the car. So we're just having fun as we're driving to the concert. I'm sitting here looking silly and <laughs> getting into the groove of the music. And Aaron is back there relaxing, <laughs> trying not to look at the camera. And of course, Sam doing the driving but anyway we hope we have a good time i am so excited we love patty labelle at least me and my husband does aaron never heard of her so you know of course he's a youngster not knowing anything about patty but i'm just so glad i'm showing you my blouse that i'm wearing to the concert i think i may have had this blouse on before maybe not but anyway i can't wait to get there and i hope we enjoy Now you guys know I have to do a voiceover, unfortunately I can't stand that, but don't want to get copyrighted, but we're having a nice time out here, we're excited, waiting for Patty to come out, but uh, Michael Jackson's music is playing right now, so I'm just showing you around just to give you something to look at and a little something to hear before the concert starts, so I won't be able to play her music, but just want to say we're having a good time.
two lovebirds sitting here. They're just holding hands. I just wanted to show that. That is so cute. They're enjoying this music too. Me and Sam are in Walmart getting ready to buy some stuff, more like food. Sam was laughing when I pushed a basket over here because he knows exactly, yep, <laughs> he knows I'm going for that wonderful, wonderful creamer. He was just laughing. I said, you know, I got to go get pick up my baby now. <laughs> I mean, the way I drink this stuff in my coffee, you would think that it is my third and fourth baby. <laughs> That looks good. Garlic, Parmesan, Alfredo with broccoli. I think I might get that. Greens. This is Sunday, the next day after the concert. Let me tell you, the concert was really, really good. Um, it wasn't long enough though. We were kind of disappointed because it only lasted like an hour and 15 minutes. I don't know if Patty was tired or what because she kept asking for some ice cold water and um, just, I don't know. I don't know if she wasn't feeling well or what, but we like the concert overall. She sings great. I mean, she can really blow and hit those high notes, but we all enjoyed ourselves. So I'm sitting here editing the video that you're now watching right now. It was a lot, a lot of people. And um, I saw some people in my church that I recognize. We were all giving each other hugs and everything. And it was just a nice enjoyable day but i'm going to close the video out i just wanted to um thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it um i hope that you have enjoyed please give me a big thumbs up if you like the video and if you're new here thank you so much for joining the jazzy green family i'm always glad to have more people join my channel and if you have not yet joined what are you waiting on just go ahead and click on that subscribe button it's free doesn't cost you anything to join the channel. Please let me know what you like of the video. Don't tell me what you didn't like, of course. I don't want to know that, but I hope that you enjoyed all of it. And before I say goodbye, I am drinking some regular water and I poured some bubbly, it's called bubbly sparkling water. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this, but they have different flavors. They have one called AHA, A-H-A, and this is the strawberry flavor, and I like it. It's kind of like a nice little different twist to, you know, versus having regular H2O, which I do drink, but I like to sometimes have a little taste in my water. You know, it's a little bit of flavor, and it's so, so good. Mmm. Mmm. 
so good. And this is not sponsored by the way, but I love drinking those. I, but they're so good. But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. You guys take care, be blessed, and I will see you next time. Bye.